Welcome back to my channel. I'm Astrologer Ranisood and in this video I'm going to talk about spiritual guide as career. There's a difference between being a saint and a spiritual guide. And if you want to be a motivational speaker and guide people, spiritual guide is also comes in that category. So let's see what are the combinations of a good spiritual guide. So if you want to know more, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Astrologer Ranisu. In this video, I'm going to talk about spiritual guide as a career. There's a difference between being a saint and a spiritual guide. Being a saint is not easy. You've got to leave materialism. But being a spiritual guide, you can stay materialistic and guide people for a better life. So spirituality is the highest form of knowledge. It comes to people who have a very strong Jupiter. So Jupiter is the largest planet of the universe and whenever it's well placed, Jupiter gets exalted in Cancer and debilitated in Capricorn. So whenever you have Jupiter in Cancer, you have a natural tendency to uplift others. You always think positive. You always want to do good. You always want to help people. So that tendency comes naturally to you. It cannot be forced. So in this video, I will be sharing with the help of a diagram and uh, how to see if you have that in you. And uh, yes, uh, you can use that to uplift others and make a living for yourself also. And uh, because it's a materialistic world and it's not bad if uh, you want to help people by your knowledge. And uh, let's see what are the combinations for being a good spiritual guide. So let's study what makes a person a saint or what's the difference between the horoscope of a saint and a spiritual guide. Being a saint requires a person to leave the materialistic world. So let's study the horoscope of a saint first. The planet that is required to see whether a person is a saintly person or a Mahatma is planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet and if it is in a Raj Yoga or in exaltation in Cancer, then a person has chances that a person might renounce the world. The Atmakarak planet is also seen when you judge the horoscope of a saint. The Atmakarak is the planet with the highest degree, like a sign is made up of 30 degree. So if planet Jupiter is at 30 degree, uh, 26 degree, then that means it's the Atmakarak planet. So the other things, the houses that you've got to see are the first house, fifth house, ninth house and the tenth house. So being a saint means you need to have a very strong ninth and tenth house. Ninth house is for religion and tenth house is for business. And uh, it should have any relationship being formed by the first house and the fifth house because first house is your body. And fifth house is your mind. Your mind should be inclined towards religion. Your mind should be inclined towards spirituality. So fifth house and first house involvement is very important when you see the horoscope of a saint. Unlike for the other way around, if we just study the horoscope of a spiritual person, a spiritual guide, you can say the person is guiding people to spirituality and talks about spiritual things. In that case, the only difference you got to see in a horoscope is the absence of the relationship with the fifth house. Because fifth house is the mind. But yes, the Jupiter is again very strong in such people's horoscope. And uh, it might be in a Raj Yoga, it might be in exaltation or it might have any combination being formed in the ninth and the 10th house. So for a spiritual guide, you need to have a very strong ninth house, 10th house and its involvement with the first house because such people then they go a long way because they are so knowledgeable that people love to talk to them and listen to them. 
So this was my brief video on spiritual guide as a career. If you like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and wish you all a very happy Diwali. Stay blessed. Be happy. Bye-bye.